Welcome back to Pathologic 2. Last episode, we went to the abattoir. Thankfully, this time, we didn't spend nearly as much time in there as in the last playthrough, and so we actually have the night at the beginning of day 10 to explore, which means we can view whatever the performance in the theater was that we missed before. I'm really curious about that. And go to the dead item shop. And uh, I got a good amount of time, really, until 7.30. So, I'm gonna take lots of little diversions to try to treat people, since there are a shit ton of infected and in danger people. Honestly, like, most people are infected or in danger. So, uh, first place, Saba. I'm deliberately not going to treat any of the children at all, because this is the day they're gonna get forcefully infected all at the same time, when death shows up. Um... Yeah, so I just won't treat them at all, but I'll try to treat everybody else with the assumption that I won't be able to give them any panaceas, because I probably won't have any panaceas or schmatters left over after treating the children. In fact, I might not even have enough for all the children. So, let's treat you, Saba. Must be bone, which is good. That's a very good one, because I have a lot of things to treat bone. Yeah, look at how good that is. Extremely high chance of survival. Makes me want to go get some more infected organs. I didn't predict I would need this many antibiotics at one time. I'm sure antibiotics made from brain tissue are the most effective, probably almost certainly more effective than the plus antibiotics. And I don't have that much. I have one more for brain, one more EOS for brain. Mm, two heart yosses. I don't think the heart is as powerful as the brain. Tier-wise. These four medrals are made from brain tissue, so these are very good. But I have nothing for the blood layer, just nerves and bone. Uh, as far as these really good antibiotics go. I'm gonna go give a booster to Andre Stamaton. Man, that's only at half. As long as they survive tonight, though, I think everybody will be fine, because I think everything is finished on day 11. So I don't think I need to treat anybody after today. Pretty sure. You have any coffee? Blood wire, cool. Mm, no, but they have lemon. Almost just as good, and it doesn't hurt my health. Maybe I should buy a couple Twirine. I have a shit ton of money. Yeah. I'll buy it all. I really don't want to have to sleep tonight. Okay, this is still considered the same day as the last time I tried to use Twirine. We've run out of the town is calling me things today. So I need to wait till 7.30 and then start using them again. You know what I want to do while I'm in the area? Go to Ruben's place. I don't think they're going to be here, but... God, I want to know where they are. This whole place is horribly infected. Ruben? Why is, why is this open? Maybe because I opened it a long time ago and it just stays open? Ruben? Wait, you mean... Ruben's been asleep for like... Three days? Wow, he really is dead tired. God damn, Ruben. Sleep well, buddy. Here's a... Uh, hmm. Probably gonna stink when you wake up. There's some soap. You'll feel a lot better when you take a good shower. Also out of curiosity... Is Anna Angel actually home? She is? But then how come it doesn't say she's in danger? You know, normally there's the orange border around a place if someone's in danger. What the hell? That's creepy. What is going on with Anna? Gonna treat Peter Stamaton while I'm in the area as well. 
Ah, finally, I found a clothes shop that has some army gear. A gas mask. Can't read the description because it's off screen, but I'm sure it's better than a gauze mask. Oh, my cloak totally ripped, by the way. Man, my boots are about to break. Uh, I guess I'll just sell the gauze mask, huh? Protects the respiratory tract from lethal gas. In comparison, disease clouds are nothing. Very useful until you consider the reasons why the army had to mass produce them. Ugh. Let's do the Sabras. You know, technically, I think I don't need to give anybody an immunity booster because the worst thing that would happen during the night is that they get infected. But then this is all going to be dealt with tomorrow, but. I don't know how this is going to play out, especially since I'm doing a different ending, so I'm just hedging my bets and being very careful. Katarina? Might need to go herb picking. Let's do Yulia. It's my last one. I have literally no other tinctures. Definitive, it's nerves. Good. Got one made from brain tissue. Should make your chance of death extremely low. Yeah, you're gonna be fine. Going into the town hall to pick up my fund reward. Curious if there's anything else to do here as well. Doesn't seem like it. Nobody lit up. Also, I need to eat because I drank all of my basic Yas potions, which raised my hunger a lot because I needed it for my immunity. Yep, can't talk with you. Here to get coupons. Yes, thank you. Holy shit. Man, I... I have so much food. It's ridiculous. Let's drink this milk. It's huge. Drink the milk. Eat the fish. Could still use a little bit more. Let's have the eggs. Yeah, no hunger. Nice. I'm afraid of General Block. Hero of the people. Genius. I've never worked with such material. I feel helpless. What do you say to that? What can I say? I said everything yesterday. It's strange to hear I thought you were supposed to be the genius. You're joking. I'm more of a machine. This is an unsolvable town, outside my capabilities. It's outside everyone's capabilities. But I thought that's exactly what Inquisitors were for. Listen, I have very little time left. If I can't solve the town, I'll be ampulled. They threw me here on purpose. Victory is impossible. I get what you mean by ampulled, but how do you solve a town? To solve is to see things through, as Inquisition does. You know? By any means necessary. Well, we have the panacea. As for the general... Cheer up. We'll see how things go. We need to run. We need to flee this town. That was surprising to see because I, I'm pretty sure I saw that before. I'm almost certain, I'm absolutely certain that I saw that general set before where you walk onto a train car and look at the scene, uh, the, the stage from there. And I'm pretty sure that conversation was one I've seen before. Does that mean that I didn't wake up uh, in my last playthrough when I came out of Earth, living Earth? Did I not come out past 7.30 the day after? Maybe it was just sometime past midnight. Huh. I thought I missed the whole night. Oh, and the dead item shop is super close, which is great because I don't actually have that much time left. Time is passing really fast. Alarmingly fast. 
Hey dude, I don't have time for you. I have a shop to get to. Did you just stab me with something? You have a knife? Doesn't look like you're holding anything. Want a riddle? A local kid told me. Ah, I remember this. Sure. Whoever buys it gives it away. Whoever needs it doesn't yet know. Faced with it, you'll never say no. A coffin. Correct. Mm hmm. All right, another one. Whoever likes it can't take it away. Whatever you do, it's forever to stay. One of them was just didn't have an answer. Whatever you do, it's forever to stay. Time. Oh yeah, that is the one with no correct answer. Wonderful game. I enjoyed it very much. Do you have a schmouter? Yes. Those are so precious. Let's see how much I can get. Pocket watch is great for selling. Not that I need money, but what the hell? I don't need more to I, Ryan. I have a lot here and back at home. I don't need food. Definitely need the schmouter. Do I have Twyrin on me? I have three. Um, Alright, I, I guess I'll grab some more. I mean, I think this is the last day where I can even visit the dead item shop, right? So, like, I don't know. I'll get all your revolver ammo, just in case. Oh, I can't quite get it, can I? Do you want a bull bell? Apparently you do. You get five for that. One schmouter. That's going to have to go to, I think, the one kid that I won't have panacea for. Ah, another clothes shop. And they have army boots. Hell yeah. Protects against contaminated air. So I think this is honestly the, mo the one that's most important for me. This is the one that protects against just passive damage from just being in an area that's infected. Sweet. And I'll sell these boots. They're just about to break anyway, man. Many a place remains on the face where people who shoot are yet to set foot. Just about to be 7.30, which I guess means these people are going to disappear. I'll get a stab in, though. Day 10 in which the plague finally stops playing to lose. New work is awaiting at the hospital. Is it? I thought they shut it down. I guess this is the day where you go there and, they, and the soldiers say, Nope, nothing to do. Just took a boat back to my base. Dump off some stuff. I need to brew some more potions. Uh, tinctures, I mean, and I need to gather some herbs for that. Um, let's also drink our Twyrine until we stop seeing places being suggested to us. Hopefully those places have schmouters. Oh, that one's just right next to me. Well, let's drink some more toy, Ryan. When are you going to stop showing me places? Is that the last one? I think so. So four places. That's a cache. 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 They're all caches. And all might potentially have schmouter in them. This might be the day where the kids come and, and tell me that I should loot the caches, checking for schmouters before the Jerboas take them or whatever. I mean, honestly, the Jerboas are so cute that they could just have them. You know, I want to support them. But I really need those schmouters. I managed to find eight swivery, plus I had one stored away, and I also have an ashen swish. It's really good. That's a lot better than I thought I would do, to be honest. This does thirst. Yeah, it's Yoss that does. Wait. 
Yas does hunger, doesn't it? Does that mean none of them do exhaustion? Because my exhaustion's maxed out. I've been slowly dying for an hour or two. <laughs> but I absolutely refuse to sleep. I have a lot of bandages, right? What does bandage away my sleep pains? Oh, let's grab all my panaceas. I don't think I have any more to brew. I have no organs. Nope. I have a little bit of hunger. Um, I'll take the Kashyyyk's with me. They're really compact. Time to get back at it. Let's see what's at this cache that's marked on my map right outside of my place. Schmouter? Polite note. To the person from the very, very far future, please remember me. You're Neela. <laughs> That's cute. I'll remember you, Neela. Actually, I want to take a screenshot of that, because I've been chronicling all the notes that I find in my own notes. Let's check out what they have at the shady shop. I haven't been here since they... Since what? I think since they switched over to coupons? Anyway, I just want to know if you have any coffee, beans, or lemons. You don't. Damn it. I guess I don't want anything then? I don't really need food. Wait, isn't it Metrol Plus that reduces my exhaustion? Yeah, it is. Although, really, not by very much. Hmm. Shall we go take a look at the cannons? I remember somebody told us to do that a while ago and I never did. Because right now I don't actually have anything questy on the map to do aside from the hospital where I think I'll just be turned away. I'm just waiting for something, I guess. Very intimidating. But I don't think there's much of a point. Let's go give a booster to baby Vlad. You actually here, by the way? God damn it, you aren't. Where are you? Did you fall down the well? Oh, hey. Young Vlad is still at their dad's. Glad I checked here. Oh, something just happened. Time to see Aglaia. The shelter smells of gunpowder, rusty iron, snow melt by a brick wall. A whole year. The shelter? Yeah, the... Wait, what? The shelter. The... Is Lara communicating with me? Is Lara okay? A whole year? What do you mean? That obviously never happened before, because at this point in the game, Lara was dead. Oh. They weren't kidding when they say they're going to take me to Aglaia by force. Shit. That's awkward. Let's help you out, buddy. Unclear patient is in pain. Ooh. But it is a plus, so it's probably still accurate, I think? So it's nerves. Yeah. Yeah, you'll be fine. Um, hold on, I want to go up here and save, because I think I have an idea what this conversation is about. Proverbs are stories, just seen from a distance. Is this too much for you even to listen? 
Guess all you feel is seething indifference. I can tell it's a poem, but I don't know where it's from, and I can't recite it with you. You can't know it. For you, it's not yet written. Okay, then let's get back to the prose. I was right, of course. The outbreak was caused by the tower's creation. Both outbreaks, actually. This is the second time Sandpest has occurred in this town, correct? Yes, first outbreak happened five years ago. When was the tower built? Damn. The ability to correlate facts is a useful skill in any to any investigator, Bura. And a surgeon often serves as one too, wouldn't you agree? Eh. Once again, I prove that first impressions have never failed me. The initial hypothesis is almost always correct. That's exactly how things turned out to be, literally and metaphysically. Metaphysically? Any attempt to subvert nature is met with resistance. That's the nature of nature. Such is the matter you're made of, whether a person or a town. They tried to subvert nature. They retaliated. The case is clear. Yeah, I think this seals it for me. My idea that Mother Bodo did this on purpose to try to rein everybody in and keep itself relevant and alive. I think that's true. It retaliated. How exactly does it work? Don't ask me how they achieved it. The Polyhedron's foundation pierces many meters into the ground beneath the town to its very heart. It's like the barb of an arrow stuck in a wound. Why have you grown pale all of a sudden? How... How do you even know about the heart? I only confirmed its existence several hours ago. Calm down. I prefer you not to have a heart attack. I was speaking figuratively. Were you speaking literally? Yes. I think you're overworked, sweetheart. I know it sounds mad, but the blood of Aurochs might be underground, and lots of it. I see. Explain, briefly, but don't omit crucial details. Get to the point. A certain kind of bull used to be dissected in the abattoir. The blood was poured underground for many centuries as a ritual. I understand. Now please be quiet for 25 seconds. I need to think. There is blood underground. The polyhedron's base pierces the soil, like an arrow's barb, buried in a torso. So all we need is to pull out the arrow. And then blood will pour out, killing the wounded. We have a solution now. A clever one of which I'm particularly proud. So. You may not have saved my life, but you did help me save my professional honor. Intuition never fails me, but I'll need to get proof. Otherwise, I'll refuse to demolish that wretched edifice. How do you plan to demolish it? Artillery, Bura. The military. This is their direct obligation, to shoot at the town. So let them shoot its least useful part. But there are children inside. They've been evacuated. First thing the general did. I must give credit where it's merited. He's a remarkable individual, especially for a military commander. Yeah, even if you evacuate them, I'm pretty sure there's a lot that are still up in the tower. They all gathered up there yesterday. A town without children. Was that you were doing too? Thank you, doctor. You've assisted me in solving a puzzle. Nothing more is required of you. Stand by until blood pours from the ground. Be ready to make a great deal of your medicine. <laughs> That's it? So in your plans, I'm just benched? Okay, that was not the conversation I was thinking about. The one where she mentions wanting to run away. To make the panacea, I require an underground river of blood. The polyhedron's spike wounded earth like an arrow and clogs the wound. Remove it and blood will flow, but that which is wounded will die. Let's treat Georgie Kine. Hmm. 
Must be blood. That's actually unfortunate because I don't have any super good blood antibiotic. I mean, I have a pretty good one. I have these. But I'm sure ones made from brain tissue would be even better. But this will have to do. That's still pretty good. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm gonna go to the hospital, just because it happens to be on the way, check out these caches, see if I can find some schmouter, and then head up to Laura's place. <laughs>